Hip hop is a global culture. It is an art that gives a voice to those who may not otherwise have one and allows the oppressed to tell the world their situation. While hip hop serves the global market, it becomes customized to suit the local culture. In modern education, when people learn about other countries and cultures, they mostly focus on the history of that place. However, it is important to understand what is going on around the world now. Localized hip hop is one of the most informative mediums to discover cultural identity and social issues around the world. In this video, we will learn about various issues in Hawaii, Brazil, London, Israel, and Japan through both their hip hop music and culture. Brazil, like many other countries, has a very involved hip hop community. Hip hop is used as a tool for change in the country. Hip hop culture emerges out of the poorest parts of the country. Sounds similar to a familiar place we know. The idea that an oppressed group of people who do not have equal opportunities, resources, or representation can obtain their voice through hip-hop is one we would like to put forth. That feeling of belonging and empowerment is important to really understanding the need for hip-hop in a pedagogical sense. The Estilo hip-hop movement is about just that, using hip-hop as a weapon of mass activism. The Estilo Hip Hop is about using elements of hip hop as a political tool for the people of Brazil. In Brazil, hip hop is used as a tool to enforce freedom and to reinforce critical thinking and collaboration. Critical thinking comes into play when people are forced to look at their situations as systematic and institutionalized issues that are perpetuated through politics. Racial inequalities as well as violent acts against women are exposed and critically discussed in Brazil's hip hop community. Hip hop culture in Brazil is a reflection of the people who produce it in terms of what they hope to see in their communities. In 1893, the Queen of Hawaii was overthrown, and in 1950, Hawaii finally became the 50th state of the U.S. Many native Hawaiians are not satisfied with statehood and believe that the steps the United States took toward gaining this territory were illegal. The Hawaiian sovereignty movement focuses on the desire for self-governance and self-determination. Some natives want to secede from the Union, while others want to have a nation within a nation. One potential solution is the Akaka Bill which would recognize Native Hawaiians in a similar fashion to Native Americans. This bill has been strongly rejected by many Native Hawaiians, resulting in protests and political unrest in regards to this issue. The artists called Sudden Rush, originally from Hawaii, have created an album with political themes which directly relate back to the sovereignty movement. The group is careful to avoid including violence or swear words in their music, the following is a sample of music from Sudden Rush. Racism in England's school system is a prominent issue in the classroom. Teachers prejudge and underestimate their black Caribbean students. They directly correlate their behavior to their academic success, though their behavioral problems may stem from their lack of support and low expectations from teachers. The parents of these students say that it is teachers discriminating against their kids. According to a British newspaper, the question is, how much is real behavioral problems and how much is a problem between teachers and pupils? An example of this is when students turn 14. Teachers choose the top-ranked students to take advanced placement tests in math and science, and the Caribbean students are seldom chosen. To end the cycle, it must begin with teachers understanding their Caribbean students and taking into account their academic abilities rather than the color of their skin.
Black Caribbean culture in the UK is influenced by reggae and hip-hop. Rap groups such as Mongol discuss political issues as well as racism. Their goal is to give a depiction of the real British life. Efforts such as the musical festival in England called Love, Music, Hate, Racism celebrate a multicultural society in response to rising levels of racism and the British National Party, also known as the BMP's, racist political views. Musicians and people all over the world come together to battle racism. Reaching the teachers because the BMP um, are trying to sort of involve the teachers with their hatred and it's important that we go to where the BMP have a voice and have a voice as well, do you know what I mean? Because imagine if all the teachers decide they're members of the BMP, how terrible would that be for this country? It's important that we combat the BMP wherever they show themselves and if they're showing themselves here then we're going to be there as well. The experience of just growing up in this country, anybody that looks slightly not English knows what I mean. You go to certain areas in this country and at, wor at, at the least you'll get very, very, very odd looks and at worst you'll get fights like, just, just based on the way you look. In 1933, Adolf Hitler came into power in Germany. Hitler used his motivational speaking skills to brainwash thousands of people to accept his thoughts as truth and to adapt his ideas as their own. His main goal during his leadership was to rid the world of Jews. He created concentration camps in which the Jews and other groups of people as well would be sent to work and or ultimately be exterminated. During the years of the Holocaust, 1939 until 1945, six million Jews were killed. After the final liberations from concentration camps and the official end of World War II in 1945, the Jewish State of Israel was established on May 14, 1948. Holocaust education has become more prevalent in recent years. It is also more apparent in popular culture, including movies and music. Israeli performers Subliminal and Miri Ben-Ari joined together in 2007 to create a tribute to the Holocaust, a song entitled God Almighty, When Will It End? <laughs> נאבקים על החיים נרצחו, נשדדו, דאחו נשמותיהם, הוסתרו שועטו, לא נשכח את שמותיהם, הרגו את החירות, אך נשארה עוד התקווה, הנפש הומייה, העין צופייה, טבח ללא סיבה, ים של קורבנות, טלאי צהוב על החולצה, הוא יישלח ללהבות, איך אפשר לקטוף לילדים את החלומות, בזמן שחוטפים למבוגרים את הזיכרונות, מה עשיתי כל כך רע שאין שום מחילה, תמיד אמרתי אמן Japan is a country rich in tradition and history. Before the 16th century, Japan was hidden from the West. In 1854, the Convention of Kanagawa forced the opening of Japan to the outside world. This caused economic and political crisis in Japan and eventually caused the country to begin to adopt many Western institutions and ideals. To this day, there is a cultural divide between those who embrace Western ideas and those who wish to preserve Japan's traditional culture. This is blatantly apparent in Japanese hip-hop culture, which is often criticized for being an imitation of American hip-hop. Even though many people do try and replicate American hip-hop in Japan, as you can see from the very Western images presented in this hip-hop video, Japanese hip-hop also embodies the struggle to define oneself as Japanese. In Kohi Japan's song, Hungry, he uses food to define himself and debunks many of the myths that have sprung up about Japan due to Westernization. While many may see Japanese hip-hop as imitation at first, it is clearly showcasing the cultural split between Western and Japanese in its images and lyrics. By presenting what seem like very Western images mixed with aspects of Japanese culture, Japanese hip-hop artists are creating something that is truly unique and representative of Japan. Today, knowing what is going on in the world is crucial. At a time where so much injustice, misrepresentation, and misunderstanding exists, it is important to discover what is truth. 
Through the globalization of hip hop, we now have a medium to learn about other countries and cultures through their own words, and the pedagogical value of this is undeniable. Rather than reading carbon copied facts from a textbook, we need to hear the voices of those people and learn what it is that is really happening all across the globe. I spend a day bus, tripping on hype, switching for nights of different flavors. The age of Kane and Big Daddy, show by the caddies. Uncle's name Larry, they really never grabbed me. My mother gave birth, but she really 